for those of us in rescue, we knew that this was going to happen. Melissa Turzis loves her rescue so much she has taken in three of them, yeah, really each not. with their own issues. Here. So Piper is a product of a backyard breeder. She can scoot around like a little mermaid, but we mostly carry her everywhere. Then there's Ziggy. And I brought him home and he had a host of health problems. And Annie. I just wanted to get her safe and get her out of there. I play with Annie the most. I like that she's very ah. playful. And sweet. But Terzis and her fellow volunteers at East Coast Corgi Rescue say they cannot take any more dogs in. Some of these stories are really sad. You know, people have paid $2,500 for a puppy that's not been bred well. It's aggressive. It's biting their kids. It's biting them. People used to surrender one or two dogs a week. Now she's getting one or two dogs a day. And many of those puppies are just a few months old. She blames bad breeders and warns people to be very careful when buying a dog. East Coast Corgi Alliance is struggling, but Humane Rescue Alliance, the biggest shelter in D.C., says it's just not seeing this. It says actually they're seeing fewer people put their pets up for adoption, although they do have lots of doggies available like this beauty, Rosie. Right, Rosie? Yeah. It's not true. People are holding on to their pets. Humane Rescue Alliance has seen a drop off in adoptions, though. So if you're interested in a perfect mixed breed okay. or a potentially challenging corgi, just reach out. In D.C., Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.